smell like purple. Because ice cream has no bones. We need you to focus on the article, please. Beef fluctuates always as trademarks. Brown words? Yes. Beef, beef yeah. Closer to the people. <sighs> Brief functional analysis and treatment of bizarre vocalizations in an adult with schizophrenia. There you go, have fun. By Wilder, Masuda, O'Connor, and the irony of all of this is that I can't pronounce this last name. Baham, Baham, Baham. If you're watching this, Baham, um, or Baham, whoever you are, Melinda, um, please correct us in the comments down below. This is one of these really awesome, uh, bizarre vocalizations in people with schizophrenia. Literally, things like, marsupials scare me because they're fast. Oh, watch out for the elephants! Like, weird. Like, just completely bizarre vocalizations. So, they treated them. They were successful. They used a reversal design. <laughs> Sometimes the articles speak for themselves, and interpretation of the article could ruin the darn thing. This is one of those awesome articles like that, printed in the Journal of Applied Behavior Analysis. I want you to know it's a really short one. One, two, three, and two-thirds pages. Done! So science doesn't have to be long-winded like me. It can be um, short, like, um, and should be, and functional, um, which we'll talk about FCT in another video. Um, anyway... 2001, phew, we're, the, for our channel, we're getting up there in years now. So uh, they did a functional assessment on the vocalizations and basic a functional analysis on the vocalizations and basically found that uh, attention seemed to be influencing the bizarre uh, vocalizations or at least maybe possibly maintaining them or ha having a role in that. So they went to, to, to mess with it and get it under control. Um, so they did a reversal design. Uh, but first, of course, you have to do the whole Defi defining this, uh, this the, the, the defined bizarre vocalizations as random and unrelated to the content. Do you have any examples? I go swimming in September because it's spring. I drink beer when he goes swimming. No, that's related. Shit. Um, hmm, what would be unrelated to that? Bahamas! Right? You get the idea, folks? Like, it, it's just bizarre stuff, stuff that's unrelated to the context. Now, this particular person had specific ones that they did things like Bruce Lee, and he talked Bruce Lee. What else did he talk about? He talked about some... The FBI. Oh, the FBI, yeah. Because they're always watching us. Anyway, so they had he had a, cl a class, a series of these responses that were like that. Um, so they put it on extinction and reinforced alternative responses. And what was the alternative response? It was anything that was appropriate, which was literally defined as anything that wasn't bizarre. Um, so there was a lot of flexibility with this particular um, experiment, if you will, or this treatment, um, but uh, they were highly successful. Um, they reduced the, they, they did reversal, right? So you got the baseline and they had the problem, you know, the bizarre vocalizations were up. They reduced those down to almost nothing when they were in the treatment phase. Um, at the same time, the appropriate vocalizations went up um, and then they flipped everything, right? So a genuine reversal, so it, boop, it completely flipped and went back to the um, the bizarre vocalization vocalizations being up there and uh, appropriate ones being down. And then they ended, of course, on uh, the DRA plus extinction um, thing and it ended up really well. Like, data is absolutely amazing. Um, there's, like, no variation in it, which makes you wonder how perfect it really is. So, but anyway, um, what's the point? Well, it extends evidence from the 1950s and the 1970s that at least some of schizophrenic behavior has some sort of social component to it and it, that you might be able to reinforce some of these behaviors. Now, I thought it was interesting that even in 01, um, that they were focusing on a DRA alternative here. Um, they weren't just punishing the vocalizations at all. They were reinforcing appropriate ones. And the other one, and then the other one's tanked when you put them on extinction. Surprise, surprise. Uh, which it's a form of, I, I guess, in, a, in, in an interesting sense, it's a form of FCT, um, which Again, we keep talking about functional communication training, which we might talk about in another video. Might. <laughs> we will. I'll even be wearing the same clothes. Um, anyway, so, yeah. So, uh, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is one of those really quick articles. So, 
Um, it's awesome. It's really cool. And look at the other literature on schizophrenia from the 70s and even the late 50s. Uh, there was some cool stuff on uh, actual hallucinations or reporting hallucinations. Um, there's some other stuff out there too. So keep that in mind. Uh, ABA isn't just focused on one narrow area. Um, it has broad implications and schizophrenia is one of those implications. So, but uh, it's not going to treat it alone. This kiddo was on medication the whole time too. So anyway, that's it. See ya. Bye. Purple.